What's going on all you beautiful people out there in the world? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have Dr. Seuss, the cat in the hat set of 10 awesome looking toys, released all the way back in 2003 by Burger King. Let's get them opened up and take a closer look. First up in the set, we're gonna start with Thing 2. And here's a little insert that comes with each toy and it tells you the name of every toy in that bag. And then there's a picture of all 10 different toys. But technically there's actually 11 toys in this set. And I happen to have Thing 1 somewhere, I just can't find it. But I know I have a few random toys from this set floating around somewhere. So you have Thing 1 and Thing 2. Now if I remember right, they're both exactly the same except for right here it says thing two and you can get the other one so there's actually 11 toys in the set not just 10 but as long as you got 10 of them i guess technically you have a complete set as well so anyway it's just a little squishy plushy pocket pillow <laughs> a little fluffy goofy little soft frizzy hair <laughs> it's goofy looking and some little arms i thought it was like gonna be like a a little pup of sorts, but it's actually just a little tiny mini, I'd say about a five inch little plushy doll thingy pocket pillow. We're just going to say it's just a pocket pillow of a thing too. And there you go. The next one up is named the Cat Balancing Act. So here is the cat and we'll give you a little spinneroo here. And let's see, it's got, what is that? He's got a little fish tank thing, a fish bowl with a little fish coming out of it. And then over here, what has he got in his hand right here? Maybe some books or something? I'm not really sure. And he's balancing on a very heavy weighted ball. And this is what you do. See? <laughs> very simple stuff. You spin it around. And no matter what, it stays upright. And this thing is like really heavy, actually. Like crazily heavy. And it doesn't look like it would weigh that much. But trust me, I tell you, if you get this in hand, it is weighty <laughs> this is awesome and that's what you do you just play with it bounce it roll it around and no matter what you do it always stands back upright <laughs> and just wobbles around <laughs> this is great oh i love the simple the simpleness of this and what was this read right there official cat merchandise oh that's cool i bet you they all have that little logo on there and that's it so there you go it's the cat balancing act now this one I really like. This is a lot of fun. This is pretty cool. Look at this thing. It's like all kinds of cool. It's got all kinds of little details in it. And this is actually called, now however you want to pronounce this, I don't think there's a wrong way, but depends on what your preference is. So you can call this the Funometer, which makes more sense to me, or the Phenometer. <laughs> So look at that, that's what it's named, Phenometer or Funometer. I like Funometer, so we're just gonna call it the Funometer because this is actually kind of fun. And so what this is, is actually like a whistle that changes sounds. And if you look right here, you can adjust it down here and then you watch this gauge as you move it in and out. And let's see if I can give you an up close look at that. Get the light in there. And then you can kind of read that. And it shows rule breaker, yeah, troubled maker, control freak, and the just right. So you can pull this out and it engages <laughs> everything you're doing. This is kind of cool. And so I have to take this off camera real quick because there's an actual whistle right here. So have a listen. Here we go. Ah, oh, that's making me giggle. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> so all you do is just move it back and forth like that, and it changes the sound that you make when you're blowing through the whistle. <laughs> this is awesome. So there it is. It's the phenometer. No, it's the funnel meter. That's what I say. The funnel meter. So now we know what this is called. This is a fish in a dish. <laughs> so this is what the cat is holding right there on this one. The fish in a dish. And this one's really cool, and this is one lots of fun. So it has a wind up bouncy gimmick thing. So you wind this up counterclockwise just by spinning the fish around like so. Get it wound up really good. I think we're pretty good right there. And underneath here you can see this little bouncy lever thing. This is, watch what it does. Just check this out. <laughs> oh, that's it. Come on, keep going. <laughs> okay. We're going to do this again because I love this type of stuff. And it, what's cool, you know, even though this set is kind of old, it actually still works. A lot of wind-up stuff doesn't work in a lot of these older sets, but this one does, and I'm so excited. Here, one more time. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. 
Off he goes. <laughs> oh, so cute and adorable. Oh, okay, this is cool. And that's it, so there it is, everyone. Fish in a dish. Next, we have hat trick one and two. So you can see we have thing one and thing two, and they're hopping along in a couple of hats. And this one's really cool. You wind it up and watch what happens. We're gonna wind this up and then check this out. You're gonna like this one. This is one of the more cool toys in this set for sure. You ready? Okay, I think we got wound up pretty good. Ready, watch this. <laughs> I love this stuff. Yes! It's boogieing right along. <laughs> I'm so easily amused by these things. My inner child is just screaming right now. I love it. All right, we're gonna do this again, just because it's so it's so cute. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Here, look at. It. We'll just hold it right here. Look at it. This is awesome. Oh, this is a complete win. I'm so easily amused. I know, don't judge me. <laughs> it's so adorable, I love it. And there you go, it's the hat trick one and two. And the next one up is called Crash Apart Slow. And it reads right there, Crash Apart S-L-O-W. Does anybody know what S-L-O-W actually stands for? Does it read on here? I'm not really sure. That's a good question. So if there's any cat in the hat enthusiasts out there, tell me what that stands for. The S, the L, the O, the W. Crash apart slow. So anyway, this is how this works. So you have a cat in a hat in this really cool spaceshipy looking vehicle, and it has a pullback feature. So watch what happens when we pull it back, and I'll put my hand right here, and it'll crash into my hand, and watch what happens. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> breaks apart it didn't work all that good oh it's crumbling apart okay so there are three pieces and if it went a little faster it would have worked better so what you do is you take the, there's the cat in the hat inside the wind up part of the the set and basically all you do is you piece this in here like so <laughs> we can get this we're gonna do this and put it in here like so make sure it's lined up just right and then get pushed together and then what it's supposed to do is supposed to pull back zoom across bang into something and then it breaks apart and then cat hat keeps on going but it's not really going that fast so let's see we're gonna hold this right here we're gonna pull it back and get it really tight here we go you ready here we go <laughs> come on oh and, oh now it wants to go oh it's taking off get back over here Wow, this thing really zips along pretty fast. So let's do it without the extra pieces here. Look at that. Wow, this thing flies. You can hear how quick it zips along. <laughs> you, can spend, you can spend a little while messing with this one. So let's see, let's, let's try this one more time just because I think we can get it to work a little bit better. And let's see here. We'll flip this around, we'll get this snapped on. And did we get it? I think we got it pretty good. Maybe we had it a little too tight, so maybe we not squeeze it together too tight. And we're going to do this one more time. Ready? We're going to give it an extra wind up. And all right, here we go. You ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we cheated a little bit. But either way, this is really kind of cool. Next, we have Cat's Cleaning Contraption. So let's take a close look at this. It's a cleaning contraption machine. It's like a cleaning vehicle. You can see brushes and dust pans there. And what else we got here? Another, maybe a broom, another hand there, like a vacuum cleaner or something, another hand sticking out there, one in the back. And then you can see the cat in the hat driving this weird, crazy, loony vehicle. Underneath we got some wheels. We got this one here that spins around. And on the back here is a wind-up hand, wind-up mechanism. But unfortunately, this one doesn't work. It seems like it wanted to work, but you're supposed to wind it up and it feels like it's stripped out of here. So you're supposed to wind it up and then you let it go and it's supposed to zip along and do all kinds of different crazy loony directions. So we're just gonna pretend like, like it's all wound up and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play with it and show you what it's supposed to do. <laughs> but it would do this, I swear. <laughs> it's actually fun just pushing it around because it, when you push it, you don't really know which way it's gonna turn. 
and it just kind of spins in place and goes everywhere. So yeah, you just use your imagination. So just because the little function gimmick wind-up thing doesn't work that well, we can just make it work. <laughs> and this little hand here spins around as well, so you can kind of turn and spin that, and then have a good old zany, crazy time. Look at this thing. It still works, just use your imagination. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it. I don't know. What am I doing here? Can we get it to maybe wind up and go by itself? Ah, oh, well, we don't need to. Wait, it's still acting all crazy and wacky and loony. <laughs> this is cool. See, we still had fun with it, didn't we? So even though the wind up gimmick didn't work, we made it work. <laughs> we showed it who's boss. So there you go, everyone. It's the cat's cleaning contraption. The next one up in the set is the Magic Image Hat. And it's actually got a little key ring on here. So it's like a little keychain. And so let me read what it shows you on the instructions here. So it reads, look through the bottom of the hat, focus on city lights, street lights, candles, holiday lights, or any bright distant point of light, except for the sun, obviously. Never look at the sun to see one of these three images. And then it shows right there, you got the fish, the thing, the and the cat. So I actually walked around my house and kind of was looking with this for a few minutes, trying to figure it out. And it's kind of got like a distorted view. It is kind of cool to look through, but I don't get it. Maybe I did something wrong. I didn't see any of those images on here. So maybe, I doubt, it's probably just me, I would imagine, because it's something, such a simple thing here. So let me show you, we look in there, see my little fingers in there? And when I was doing that, I was walking around, I was looking at my kitchen lights and the lamps and stuff on my end tables and just trying to look at different things. And I didn't see one of those three images but you can see on the lens, this lens right here, it's kind of distorted and it does have something on there, but I don't see any of those images that says you're supposed to see. So I'm not really sure what to make of that. Maybe it's just my eyeballs. So maybe if you get this in your collection, you look through it, maybe you'll see what I am not seeing. I don't know. <laughs> it's a curiosity at best, but it's a cool little collectible. Look at this thing. So you got the cat in the hat, hat. <laughs> keychain so that's a win the next one in the set is box full of things and you have the cat holding a box and thing one and thing two are in there and it has a little keychain key ring up here the head moves back and forth a little bit and it had a battery tab so i had to pull that out and the little button right here on the back and you give that a push and the little eyeballs for thing one and thing two were supposed to light up but unfortunately the battery has expired in my little toy here and it doesn't light up but what's cool is there's a little screw right there so you can probably pull this apart and replace the battery in there if you really wanted to see this light up but i can't imagine it was anything too spectacular but probably still cute with the little eyeballs light up and let's see this is about well, about six inches five and a half six inches long and it stands quite well as a nice little collectible or you can probably use it as an ornament you can hang it on your christmas tree or something or just use it as a collectible hanging off your your backpack or something put some keys on it you know if you're really a hardcore collector of the cat and hat but it's very nice i like it it looks great and i'm glad i'm still glad to have it, even if the batteries don't work in it it's still a cool looking little toy so there you go box full of things and finally, last up, we have Thing in a Box. That's right, Thing in a Box. And what's really cool is I have an extra one I just opened up as well. And the reason why I got two here is because you can get Thing 1 or Thing 2, and I have not tried it yet. I'm, I, I'm telling you, I have not wound this one up right here, and I'm not really sure what we're going to get. So what you do here is you wind it up on the back, and in the instructions read, wind it up 15 times, so we're gonna do that right here, right now, in front of your eyeballs, and see what thing we get in the box. <laughs> there we go. So this is like a little on-off switch here. So basically what you do, you get it locked in the left position, you flip it open to the right by doing this and let it go. Ready, there we go. Come on, yes, yes. <laughs> it worked, who do we get? Look at that, we got thing one. Okay, now for the surprise. We have this one, which I have not tried either. And so we wind this one up because, you know, why, why wouldn't you? This is cool. So technically there's actually 12 different toys in the set to be technical. 
and I think we got it wound up good enough. I'm going to push my luck, but I think that'll work. You ready? Here, let's see if we get thing one or thing two. You ready? Go! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, so when it says, oh, we got to lock it. So when it says wind up 15 times, it literally means wind it up 15 times. So that's what we're doing. We're going to wind it up. I'm not even counting. We're at least at 10 or 11, maybe 12, 13. We'll just say we're at 14 or 15. Oh, I heard some clicking. So that's got to be it. All right, ready? Here we go. Let's hope. So we got, we got thing one. So we're actually hoping for thing number two. Ready? Go! Oh, it worked! Yes! And, and what do we get? Oh, sweet! We got thing number two, so we got them both. Look at this! That's so cool, and I know that I have thing number one plushie floating around in one of my spare totes with all the random little toys in it that I like to give away and do stuff with. So I know that I have all 12 different toys, and right now we have 11. I just got to find the thing number one little pocket pillow. But how cool is this? So we got thing one and thing two in the little vibrating surprise little jumpy springy boxes thing in a box. Awesome stuff, man. And there you have it, everyone. Dr. Seuss, the cat in a hat set of 11 awesome, fantastic, fabulous toys released by Burger King back in 2003. I absolutely love this set. This is a complete win in my books. I'm a big fan. I grew up on Dr. Seuss and these toys are amazing. We only had a couple of boogaboos with a couple of the toys, but either way, we can still have fun with them. And what's really cool is that I have the other thing, one floating around somewhere. So technically there's 12 toys in the set. We have 11. So that's awesome. We've got thing one and thing two in the box toys. We got the whistle toy, this little eyeball one i'm not really sure what to make but like everything in this is a complete win but honestly i think my favorite is this one right here thing one and two in a hat one that just kind of bounces around which one's your favorite out of the whole set let me know tell me down below which one of these is your favorite one thanks for watching everybody take care we'll see you next time